What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back in RimWorld, hell yes, because they finally released Alpha 13, so I've been hanging on for this a bit because I have this thing about starting seasons of RimWorld, and I'm doing it just as a new patch is about to come, and then I miss out on it completely, so I've hung on for this one because it's got some really cool stuff in it to do with families and relations within the colony and so on, and also prisoners and how they can now break out and try and sort of almost prison architect style cause you issues within sort of how you contain them. But on top of that, I also haven't played Alpha 12, so this is going to have a load of stuff in it that's completely new for me. And for guys who haven't seen any of the RimWorld content I've done before, I did do a couple of series before, one in like Alpha 9 and one in Alpha 11. Awesome colony simulation game, I absolutely love it, and I try and approach my Let's Plays with a bit of kind of explaining what I'm doing at the same time, although hopefully not so much as I bore the guys that already know what's going on. Anyway, time to kick off, new colony, and as usual I'm going to go on Cassandra Classic with challenge difficulty, so as it kind of says, this is the way RimWorld was meant to be played, I figure that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so Cassandra Classic again is the sort of standard AI as well, you've got Phoebe Chillax who's pretty relaxed, not surprisingly, and Randy Random who is pretty random. All makes plenty of sense, but Cassandra Classic for me, and then you see all my old worlds no longer even load, most likely. I think that was the last one. Here is uh, the one we were actually on in the last season. But anyway, got a new map set up. And what I want to do this time is I think I want to go into a desert, firstly, because I don't think I've done a desert biome yet. But also, I fancy doing somewhere, like, I don't know, somewhere maybe that gets a little bit chilly like this. We've got a bit of a growing period problem, too. Actually, that's not a bad biome. Gets a bit cold in the winter, doesn't get super hot in the summer. Limited growing period. And the other thing I want to do is go on a massive map. Because I like the idea of it being potentially needing to have outposts and places for people to stay overnight if dealing with threats that are way away. And what sort of challenge is a big map going to introduce? Now, in this case, I'm going for large because... I'm not going to try and lead Ludionicrus, Ludionicrus, something like that. Isn't is, as it says is not tested properly and probably won't play well. Hopefully this will be a long season. So therefore we'll stick with large and I'm going to turn permadeath on. Now this is basically what this means is I can only save the game when I quit the game and there's only ever one save file. So there's no going back, there's no messing around. You guys know hopefully from this, that this is 100% legitimate. Not that I think there's much, much question in the past, but I like to make sure that uh, you know I'm, I'm playing as it's meant to be experienced. The other thing I've done is I have a Patreon page. I haven't talked a huge amount about it, but on there I did do a little shout out for this and say, hey guys, if anyone wants to be a colonist when we start off, hit me up. And I actually ended up with just three people. So that's perfect, the three starting colonists. And I'm going to do what I've done in previous seasons. So if you guys want to get involved, want to be a colonist in the colony, just hit me up in a comment down below. Or, I mean, if you want a slightly better chance, then there is always the Patreon. I will link that below as well. Not the only benefit of supporting me there, but definitely one of the sort of things I use that for. Then obviously there's that too, but we'll go through just kind of making sure that it's you guys I've got in there because for some reason that's a hell of a lot more fun. I care much more when it's you guys and not just random people. So anyway, let's pick us some starting colonists and this person looks horrible and capable of pretty much everything and also has asthma. No thank you. So what I'm going to do basically is go through and try and find one that's pretty sort of generally capable so not too many incapable ofs or preferably none and then with not too many negative traits now interesting we have a little bit of lbgt love in the game now as well i wasn't aware that they changed that but that's pretty cool uh let's see what else. more time to i mean that's kind of beneficial masochistic's not a problem and uh, yeah i think ng here is gonna be pretty good so Dragon actually requested to be female, so I'm afraid you didn't request to be gay as well. But there you go. And because we got some good skills here, I can't turn down. Passionate about shooting, very high shooting skills, good for hunting, good crafting, good construction. That's brilliant skills. I, I can't say no to that. So welcome aboard, Dragon. Next up, we have... Well, this is dumb labor's a problem to start off with because that's hauling and you need a lot of hauling to begin with, even though I quite like the new relation system means that you can get like a father here, as you can see. Although, how old is Sean? Sometimes that, that's a hint that you want to watch what age they are. But in this case, I think the dumb labor and social is too much of a problem to start off with. So, violent scary. Ooh. Ooh, 
that is an incredibly good role. I mean, no good, the lack of violence a problem, but look at the social animals and medicine. Okay, I think, well, who should we have here? Mick, no, let's go with Kieran, in fact. Mick kinda wanted to be construction orientated, I got the impression, so welcome aboard Kieran. And then finally, we need someone who's good at construction, but caring social again is no good. Yeah, the, the brother thing, it'd be nice to have some relations right off the bat, but dumb labour, cooking, again, no good. Let's see if we can find something a bit more suitable. I don't mind incapable of violence, but at the start, two people incapable of violence, it's going to be a problem. Oh, here we go, we might have, we got a daughter, which is cool, I'm down with that. How old is Dragon? 31. Uh, oh no, Dragon is her daughter. It is his daughter, sorry, and... He's 57, that should be fine. We've got a few scars, that doesn't make a big difference. But again, some great skills. So I think that is pretty sorted, especially as we got the construction we were looking for. So Mick, Kieran and Dragon, welcome aboard guys. Hopefully as my starting colonists, you are the guys that will die horribly, I would guess. <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed, here we go. Diving in, try and get our first bits and bobs set up. And the first thing I'm kind of worried about is how big is this map gonna be? Let's have a look-see. So, yes, the normal, as the three of you awake in your crypto-sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely got to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, that is a massive map. Can you imagine how, oh, I'm with a big ridge line like that across it. Can you imagine how long it would take to get from down here? Let's pause it. From down here all the way up to the top. And I've got to be careful about how far I move at the start here because it would be very tempting, very nice to set up somewhere like here because you're going to funnel everyone round through this sort of area, through this sort of area. But that's such a long way away. I don't think I can get away with it at the start. It's going to be a big lack of fertile growing land around here as well, and I'm going to need to grow. So that's something else that's going to be a consideration. I'm not going to be able to grow on any of this desert stuff. I'm only going to be able to grow sort of where it's green. And that is pretty limited, although this looks like a good... We've got geothermal vent. This here looks like a good spot to kick off for our initial base area. It's close, it's got good fertile land, and we're a little bit defended by some of the terrain around us. Gives us some mountains to build into a little bit as well if we want. It's another thing I haven't seen. They've got these ship chunks and we can break them down into components, which is pretty cool. Anyway, what we got? Character shooting. So you are getting the survival rifle dragon. Kieran can't fight. Mick can. So that's fine. We will leave the knife for the time being. Just unforbid all of this stuff. Lots. It was very generous with the silver, unless those are quite small piles. <laughs> Even more up there, I think we might have just happened to be next to one of the stockpiles of silver. Cool, that's everything there. I apologise, by the way, if my voice is a bit bleh today. I've been a little bit ill. I'm trying to get over it, but it does mean that if I'm going to talk for like a 45-minute RimWorld episode, then it's going to get a bit croaky at times. Sorry. And we've got lizards. This is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to tame me a lizard. So that's perfect. Anyway. Let's, first up, I need to get the stockpile zone down over here. Not gonna use up any fertile space for that, so let's just do it like that. Encourage them to move things over here immediately. Get a dumping stockpile. It's not correct. Need to deselect the existing stockpile. If you're gonna make that work, or separate them like that. I say, it's been a long while since I played RimWorld, so I'm bound to make some derpy, derpy, derpy mistakes. And let's get some sleeping spots down for the first night. And I think we kick off with an animal, don't we? Oh, Twinky. <laughs> Tiny little terrier. Okay, we do indeed. Right, so they're going to start moving stuff over here. And I think for the first like structure we have, we're just going like, to dig into the wall, basically. Or build out from the wall and dig into the wall once we've built out a bit. So I'm going to immediately... Wood's going to be a problem here. We've got these cacti, but they grow slowly. I might have to try and get some wood farms on the go. Stone, however, not going to be a problem. Anyway, uh, that looks like a sort of decent area to kind of enclose. 
let's get the door on that. This is slightly different to how I'd normally start things, but I fancy being a little bit more secure than I normally am. So I'm gonna kind of build a temporary base here and then think about building like our permanent structure down here over time, perhaps, something like that. So sort of play with this concept that because we're very spread out, there's lots of options uh, and lots of interesting things you can do with like outposts in order to help you moving around and so on. Now, growing zone is gonna be very important. Yeah, you can see, oh, this isn't as limited as I was expecting, I have to say. So you can grow potatoes, that's fine. We're gonna get a few of these zones down straight away. Not the one I forgot last time, for example, which is, it helps if you remember to build meds straight away. Do, 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 heal root, it's been renamed, but to something that to be honest is a bit more obvious. And then finally, let's go with something nice and fast growing, strawberry plants so that they don't need to be cooked. That's the benefit of, of the berries is you don't have to cook them in order to get something that doesn't piss them off out of it. And then finally, because stuff grows slowly and it's gonna be a long season, I think I'm going to get something a bit slower burn. Corn or rice? Let's go with rice. And that's pretty fine. They're going to get set up over there. The first thing I'm going to want to do is get them some initial sleeping spots. Gee, gee. That's not how you place beds. Um... I suppose we can put an animal spot in there as well. Not had much luck with getting... Uh, the dogs seem, don't seem to want to sleep in these boxes. There only seems to be other stuff. And then, important to get started straight away... On the research. Then, let's have a look. Let's get... Let's clear that and get space for the batteries a bit later down the line. We've got fuel generators, but with the lack of wood, I don't think that's an option on this map. So we're gonna just go solar straight away. Uh, components are also another new thing they've added, which means I'm not gonna be, I have to be careful that I don't do stuff that before would have been fine because it just took steel and now really isn't. And let's speed things up a bit. And I'm gonna take a drink because my throat is already going weird. What are you doing over here? Ah, oh, that's a bit better. Okay, and what else do we want to do? Change their priorities, so let's get a manual. The most... <laughs> I'm too patient on one. This is the, the cause of the most dodgy comments I ever get, is how I set the priorities. So basically, I will try and explain but I use four as something that is, because there's two priorities here. You can see this higher priority, lower priority. So the numbers mean something, but also the order means something. So it means that if you have a three and a three like that, the three from the warden will happen first above the three from the handle. And it means that you can do things like have a whole bunch of fours on just to help. Uh, Smith, Taylor, actually no, let's not have those on yet. Let's have hall very high to start off with, and then they won't do them unless they've got nothing else to do. And then you can use two and three as like your actual priorities, and one for things like patient and flick that you literally want to happen immediately. That's my thinking behind it. How well that works is another question. So you've got cooking skills, but Mick has the passion. I think we will have Mick actually doing that. Uh, so, Smith Taylor, not one. You can be constructing, you can be growing. Not sure smithing and tailing is particularly important at the moment, but, and who's gonna do our wardening for us? Let's have that handled all by Kieran who can kind of prioritize that and then be a filler on other tasks. And then we've got Mick, who's just working like a beast on all sorts of stuff. Let's bring mine uh, down a bit as well. And Smith, Taylor and Craft are not important at the moment. Turn art off completely. And then Dragon, Dragon's Dragon is far more specific about what he's up to. 
Although, again, smithing and tailoring is not something we're going to be doing very much of. So that should be all right. Then we've got this side of things. So they tend to sleep too much, in my opinion, on the default settings. So what I'm going to do... He says, then, adding <laughs> adding sleep in. But no, there's a, there's a point behind this. Uh, five hours. So six hours for you. Six hours for you. Six hours for you. And then what I'm going to do is fill this all in with work, then stick a couple of options during the day in for them to do other things. So let's put a bit of joy time in and a couple of anything times like that. Actually, maybe do the joy a bit more. Spreading them out a little bit because it means that to begin with, I can just like build a horseshoes pin out here and they will take it in turns to use it rather than fight over it is the thinking. we got the beds now, so let's get rid of these. Uh, can you please actually, for the time being, sleep indoors? We will set some animal restrictions as well some point later down the line, but at the moment... So we're missing components. Did we not get any from the wreck, or did I miss them? Okay. Good job I noticed that relatively quickly, otherwise I would have made a massive mess. And we're going to want to get mining, and we're going to want to get chopping wood. Because there's really not that much, and to begin with I'm going to want to use quite a lot of it. And mining time. Yeah, these look weird. I, I, I find it strange that you can mine compacted machinery. Like, why is there compacted machinery on this Rimworld? I understand why it's kind of nice from a sort of technical standpoint, how it works and so on, but it is a bit weird. It's mining done, let's claim and deconstruct this as well, that gives us ship components and a whole bunch of metal, another one here too. These are kind of helpful early times, and we can also think about deconstructing some of these random bits of wall. Oh, hello, what have we got here? We've got one of these suspicious rooms, so we need to be... It's not very far from us either, we need to be aware of that. Right, research as well. Now, research has changed a fair bit too, but not in... It's just They've just spread it out and added more stuff, which is cool, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to start off with... Let's just go straight for upgrading it, to be honest. We're going to want hydroponics, I think, in this area. But for the time being, that'll do. I think they've put a bit more music in as well. I've been noticing a couple of tracks that I don't recognise. Rimbled music's always been very appropriate, but I kind of like these. Some of these have got a bit more of a beat to them. We've got packaged meals and metal down there. It's not that far away, but it kind of is at the same time. What have we got for handling-wise? So our war Kieran's also going to be our tamer. That kind of works. I haven't totally got the taming thing yet, but it's kind of fun with what I have done. Who's been... Dragon's been unwell. Okay. <laughs> cool. So in here we're going to want a few more other bits and bobs. We've got power in here now, so let's get some lighting somewhere where it's not going to interfere. That looks all right. Let's also now think about... Again, I'm going to go an electric stove rather than a fueled one because of the lack of wood. I don't want to sort of literally run us out of wood immediately. Keep moving this animal spots. Do, do, do. Go down there. Visitor. The Dite Rebel. And we can start cooking as soon as we start getting stuff grown. Of course, this is going to take a little while. Strawberry plants grow quite a lot quicker. Ah, another thing I forgot got off will forget if I don't do it now is to grow a bit of hay. I don't know how much to grow, I suppose it doesn't take much care, does it? So these are all a bit ugly at the moment of course. No, hay grass please. And maybe also immediately some trees. That was terrible. I think the lack of wood is going to be enough of a problem that it might be a good idea to do that. I, I have no idea what tree is a good tree to grow. Let's just think about what I know about trees in general. We're probably going to want to go for something that grows quickly, like 
a poplar, maybe? It might make no difference at all. I have no idea. I suspect it does. It's Rimworld. Rimworld has a habit of making sure it makes a difference. Now, Wander is there for potential trading. So let's have a look. Social is social has the impact on things like negotiations, and Kieran is very, very good at it. So let's go and trade and see what's on offer. Not that I expect there'll be anything we want, but actually, early game PDW could be pretty cool. <laughs> Easily got the money for it, sure. Let's have an early game PDW. Now, where does that end up? Oh, there you go. Kieran's actually got it. So, let's go and find you know, the pistol, the survival rifle. Go and grab the PDW dragon, and then Mick can have the survival rifle, and we won't use the pistol at all because they're a bit rubbish. Ah, I have done my my old, old trick of not paying any attention to when I started recording. That's probably going to end up being a problem. First episode, hour and a half long, because I'm lost track completely. <laughs> okay, they can get a bill on there. Uh, back our battery break. We've only just built it. Get another element that wasn't in previous. I love the, the depth of this game just keeps on growing. It's lovely. Uh, let's go with 20 simple... Right. Now, this is obviously down to you guys. I'd like suggestions down in the comments what we're going to call this colony. I'm just going to click OK for the time being because I can change it in the save file to uh, be whatever we want. So, change me. <laughs> just hit me up down below, guys, what suggestions you got for our weird colony in the desert. Yes, low food is going to be a problem. At least to begin with. Let's go for orders. Is there any... I think there was an agave out here somewhere. Actually, I think we might have harvested most of it anyway. Everything just grows super slow. More metal up there. That will be handy. Super slow and super sparse. Look at it. There's nothing around. Food is going to definitely be a, a concern more than normal. Damn, that's a lot of metal. Okay. It's not that far away either. We've got two geos nearby. Hmm. Mad animal. Okay. This is the other thing. I'm going to start losing track when stuff goes mad and starts coming to order just because it's so far away. Okay, Mick, what are you equipped with? Survival rifle. Survival rifle versus lizard? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Let's also bring dragon down here, to be honest. That'll do. Nice one, guys. Bit of meat, which means we're going to want to think about fridge. and Oh, fridge is going to be a big thing as well, isn't it? Of course. Um, maybe reserve most of this area up here for fridge. Uh, could have thought a bit better about how to get into it, therefore. Uh, let's extend out of here. Use the back of these beds, perhaps, as an area. That's, no, 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 no. Let's cut that out there. Because we're going to move these beds. Let's not worry too much about those, in fact. And then... Let's sort of imagine that as a corridor. This is going to be our air seal for our fridge, which for the time being can sit like that. Plenty big enough. Then we can have a kitchen here. Room for a butcher's table in there as well, somewhere, I imagine. And a door there. Hmm... Probably a bit short. I like to have them four long. Uh, yeah, that should be alright. This is only going to be temporary anyway, so perhaps over concerned. What are those guys doing? Grabbing metal. Okay, that's fine. Battery's been dealt with, thank you as well. Uh, more power is already going to be a thing, isn't it? Let's get another solar up, because that's not charging up very much during the day, and that's before we're even worrying about... I mean, we've got a cooker that's running off the electricity, but there's going to be plenty more soon enough. And the big map is 
slowing things down immediately. Yeah, low food, I can't do a huge amount about, I'm afraid. I don't really... Let's have a look around, see if there's any gifts nearby. And, of course, we can do a bit of hunting, I suppose. Let's just check that... Who was this dragon that's awesome at shooting? So we assume the dragon's on hunting? Yeah. Cool. So I can do a bit of hunting. That's good. Couple of drone dairies. Yeah, go on then. Get us a bit of meat. Because resources wise, we're kind of looking alright other than food. So get that going ASAP. There's more geothermals. Ancient danger. Ah, yes, of course. Someone's gone up. Yeah. Yes, as I suspected, that is going to be a room full of those cryopods that sting like hell and let out a bunch of scythers. You're like, oh, damn, son. I was not expecting that. Well, except now I am. Now, I did play, I played one quick tester game just to get back into the kind of feel of what I was doing. Make sure I didn't come in completely derped out with no idea what's going on. You see, I, he says that and has immediately done this. Not like I wanted to. Uh, in which case, we're not going to have any stone yet, but if I... What's this? Limestone? Sure. Or, or we could have granite. miss the end. But yes, I, I will have to fix this already. I've made a mistake. And they need to go and break that down. I'll, I'll extend the uh, path out the back or something. Make this room a bit bigger perhaps. Big central. Yeah, let's do the communal room again. In fact, that's quite a fun one. Of course it does mean that I immediately go back to, oh, how many blocks is that? Can I fit everything in there? But yeah, big communal room and then I'll um, dot sort of bedrooms around elsewhere. Although being conscious that there's a fair bit of stuff that we're going to want to mine might cause ourselves problems at the same time uh, let's get rid of that, don't actually want that there for now uh, to be honest, might as well this is going to be pretty permanent, might as well go straight for an auto door there pin cushion cactus the terriers look so weird I had a warg last time, that was far cooler. And we need somewhere to butcher, but to be honest, to butcher this needs to be open. Could be time to stop them from having quite such a high priority on hauling. It's nice to make sure the hauling's done ASAP, because often like that, it would have been efficient for them to do so. If they were on low, they would have run back, done something else, then they would have come back out to haul it. But it does lead to bits where not much is happening. Aha! A wanderer named Greg. Which means I'm immediately going to need a new name. So it's become apparent straight away. Hit me up in the YouTube comments, guys, or on Patreon, if you want to be one of my victims. So Greg the Tactician. What do we got? Hard worker optimist. Nice. Don't care if he's incapable of social artistic because incapable of social is balanced out nicely by the optimist he's got this mood effect doesn't need to chat so much good with a gun good with crafting decent with animals that's pretty sweet uh we got a gun for you he's got a pistol already could you ask for more he's brought his own armor and everything he's just like hey bros i'm here he's got good hair whoa okay and he's straight to work. Let's sort out some priorities. Two, one. You are not a doctor, are you? Hunting is fine. I'd rather you didn't cook, please. Construction's fine. We might as well have you as our tailor. Yeah. Makes some sense. And let's have hunting as a high priority for you as well, so that Dragon doesn't get distracted from what he's about. Right, can we hurry up and get this done so I can butcher these animals before they spoil? Yeah, 
They are already getting close. So we're going to have the butcher's table in the fridge. I think that has worked out quite nicely in the past. Not enough wood stored already. So in fact, I'm going to cancel that and we're going to go with steel straight away. You knew the wood was going to be an issue. Which is fine. It's just got to be a bit more aware of it. Uh, we can now do that wall extension once they've cut enough of this out that I'm not going to block them in. <laughs> and get an auto door there. Actually. There we go. Bit more like it. Who's pissed off? Mick. What are you so angry about, bro? You're probably in the dark, aren't you? Uh. Nuzzled. <laughs> uh, ugly, joy deprived, tired. Have I not, am I not giving them enough joy time? In Let's do another load of joy time. That reminds me I need to do these guys. There, that should be there. There we go. That's about right, I think. Let's also stop Mick being quite so in the dark. Ah, uh, right. Power conduits needed then. Gonna get relatively expensive, but again, actually, steel's not a problem, is it? There's so much rock on this. That's far from the issue. Just stop using wood for stuff. Light down here for when it's all hooked up. It's not really. I suppose that's a bit more out of the way. Actually, no, it's not because I'm never going to put something there because of the standing spot. So that makes more sense. Start thinking about bedrooms some point soon as well. How far? And go at least that far back with this main room. Oh yes, and Greg doesn't have a bed. Sorry, Greg. Open that out in preparation for the cooler. Well, normally a solar flare would be annoying, but it's not like I have any turrets to get knocked out, so... <laughs> and we've got a PDW. We are equipped and ready. And the storyteller's been leaving us alone, even though it's on challenge. So... Eh. Interesting. Probably just an open area in there, but like not one of these. You never know. Uh, do, do, do. What about temperature cooler that way around, just there, all nicely in range of the power already. Yeah, I've got to remember this time as well when I'm doing the turrets to actually do them properly. Aha! Prepare for a while and then attack. Um. There's nobody here. Oh, right. I haven't landed yet. Roger. How much preparing does one guy need to do? <laughs> I, I think we're all right this time. Probably got this one guy, one guy covered. We'll see. Have we got a colonist idol? Greg. Shouldn't really be a scenario. Well, unless I've done silly things like not got stuff up for mining. No reason not to stop that. We could also do with hauling all of this rubble out the way. Where's our dumping zone? It's down there. These things need butchering. That's open so we can get our fridge stockpile built as well. Clear all. You're going to be food only, I think. And not body parts, but corpses, animal, and finally 
to keep meds in there as well. We'll have another storage inside too, but the herbal meds at least like being refrigerated, so that's fine. You still not? Are you still preparing, my friend? Bob, the taster, igniting. You're not igniting shit, bro. You are not igniting shit. Mick, get in place. Kieran, you have no arm guns. Dragon. Your PDW on the battlefield. Kieran, slow things down a bit so I don't make any silly mistakes. I'd rather these guys kept working, of course. Hello! Uh, Greg, get on board as well. Don't shoot each other! Dragon, run! Cool. Right, Bob, are you a worth... Well, not that we... We haven't got anywhere to put the prisoners yet. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, are you actually... Shadow Criminals, I think, is Merc, Merc so I think releasing him would be pointless. Abrasive is really annoying. But actually not bad. So the question is mostly, is he going to die before we have an opportunity to make use of him? Also, don't have any medical at the moment, which is not great. We need to be thinking about them bedrooms soon enough, so... Just doing little ones. Let's do some 3x3s three three along here. I know I said I was going to make this bigger, but I actually think it's big enough. <laughs> uh, that's not very intelligent. That doesn't leave me with a corridor in any way, shape, or form, so... Corridor space out there. Yeah. Kind of do. No. No, 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 no. I wish there was a. No, there is. You have to double escape. Hey, I was. <laughs> don't know why I didn't think of doing that. Because I'm kind of thinking eventually back these onto each other and, okay, perhaps not run the corridor the whole way to there, but actually have the rooms in here a bit like that. But for the time being. And then you could actually think about it, open that up as something a bit more storehousey. But for the time being, that's not important. I'll leave that marked, but not actually mine it. Don't have a place for them to eat yet either, so... Let's get... Again, it might as well be steel, because that's actually easier. Down in this corner looks alright. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Where there's a door. Let's go for a long table in the middle. Yay! I've built the room like not the right size for, for what I want to do. That will never ever bug me totally for a while. Definitely not. Boss chairs, but whatever. Perhaps a bit overkill at this point in time. Oh, nice. 110%. Poor result. Yeah. Okay. Am I going to build my butcher's table? I think we need to construct a bit higher on some people. Or, no, let's, um, like that, and then. What are they doing in stealth? Are they repairing? They're hauling still, isn't it? That's the thing. We got hauling too high, I think. Or at least too high for some people. Let's leave Dragon and Mick alone, because they actually get a fair bit of work done. Let the other guys do most of the hauling. Not looking too bad. Going to need to think about defences pretty soon. Normally the first attack's andude like that, but then it's not long after that point where it stops being andude and starts being more. Now, it would be intelligent if I was to do a power setup that enables me to control this stuff from somewhere safe right off the bat. So bit like that. Steel again is not a concern, so that works. I have noticed that there's some food there we can nick, because it's still hassling us about low food. Or well, we have actually just straight up run out now. 70%, 80%. Oh. Oh, Bob's still there. 
How you doing, Bob? We're not going to have a prisoner room done in time for you, I'm afraid, sir. You are just going to die there. Do we... We can probably harvest this early and get a bit less crop out of it, and I think that might be a good idea, because we are completely out of food now. 7th of summer, so the berries... The berries are growing faster, aren't they? Yeah, the berries should regrow then. And we'll just harvest the berries early to make sure we've got food for people. Now, no one has run off to do that immediately, which means someone needs to have a higher... There we go. That's better. Whoever's growing should be doing that straight away. Oh, our rice was done. Or did I accidentally just mark that for harvest? Maybe I did. Who knows? I don't think I did. It's hard, really hard for me to see the icon. I guess that rice was just done for some reason. I don't know why those bits in particular. Perhaps they're on more fertile terrain? Does stuff grow quicker on soil than on gravel? I, that would make sense. I've primarily been building on gravel, by the looks of things, rather than soil. Lots of soil up around here, so might want to be making more use of that later down the line. Cool. Right, and this should have now a higher priority, and let's get this to negative. There we go. Get the build done on the butcher, butcher creature, do whatever. Sure, let's make some kibble as well. Do until we have ten. Actually, seems to make sense. And that order, because butcher and creature should go first. Yep. Yeah, you, now you're telling me I'm low on food because I've actually got some food to be low on. <laughs> Another thing looks like, again, the has mining. Mining's way too low for anybody. Construct, repair, mine. There we go. And Kieran. Kieran's also a bit random, so let's have Kieran a bit more focused on mining too. How long's the episode been going on for? Nobody knows. <laughs> I feel like it's got to be coming up to about that 45 minute mark that I tend to want to aim for, so I think. Once we get, hopefully they finish, we'll get we'll get the rooms done, get these beds out of here, and that's the point I will end the episode at. An unknown length. And then in future, I'll remember to start my timer so I know when 45 minutes is up, because that seems to fit quite nicely. The storyteller tends to decide maybe one thing during a 45-minute period, sometimes two. Sometimes you're just getting something exciting as the episode ends. You know? yeah, it seems to work. Disease, gut worms, Ugh. Do we actually have any wood? We do, but not enough. That's furniture. Yeah, uh, medical. Don't die of gut worms immediately, please, Mick. Hunger rate two times. That's fine. We finally got some food. So that's not so bad. They're actually getting these bedrooms done. So let's go. Let's go steel doors for now. Uh, don't need to be the quick ones. Oh, I didn't want to find ore in there. That means I've got to dig it out now. Fine. Not so bad. <laughs> the power thing that we hadn't done anything with yet had a fold. Right now we can. You see, they're a bit exposed. You kind of want to have them so that they are forced to come round and actually engage the turret. In there, more central. I mean, one central makes sense definitely. 
okay. The shark men. Three of them? Pump shotgun. Three of them reasonably well equipped. Okay, guys, can we uh, put a little bit of an extra priority on these materials? What are we missing? That can't be needing materials. We got. Oh no, we have not got steel. Uh, is there a ship part nearby I can break down? That's not that nearby. But actually, we're getting steel at the moment. We're mining just here. That's fine. Um. At least do the other one. <laughs> one in the middle makes far more sense. Hey, just in time. Uh, toggle that off, please. Flick should be very high priority. It is. Uh, we're going to also need more power already, by the looks of things. So, let's save that for the morning. They're beginning their assault. Ooh, visitors. Are you going to come in in a really, like, helpful place? Not quite. You're a bit too far back. Slow things down. Oh. Svejgaard. I remember you, sir. Uh, toggle power. Prioritize. Like, do it now. And then get behind here quickly. Oof, not great. Uh, who else have we got that's got a gun? Pistol, get up. Survival rifle, get up. No, no, don't move there. Just, just hold open. Not too bad. Did Dragon actually get hit? No, nice. The turret's not got enough ammo, unfortunately. But yeah, you beat up on the solar panel. That's fine. Let me, and I'll just shoot at you. No, that's not great. Kieran! Kieran, dude. You can't even shoot. Can you get inside, please? Oh, you guys are in so much trouble when the sun comes up. Just saying. Bonded animal's death? No! Twinkie! Where? And who who did it? How dare they? I can't even I can't even see where it happened. Uh, can we jump to location? What? Gunshot survival rifle. Who killed Twinky? Mick. Mick. You killed Dragon's dog, bro. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh, Rimworld. You're so randomly, be randomly beautiful and brutal and weird. <laughs> uh, fresh. Should we eat it? Uh, do they need a grave? I don't even know. Where should we put our graves? Somewhere where they're not repeatedly walking past them. Is this soil I'm doing it into? I can't tell. No, that's gravel. And of course we get the solar flare and all sorts of other random stuff right at that point. Well, you know what? I reckon that's got to be time. Survived a raid. Uh, I mean, technically, I suppose I lost someone, but it's someone I can't control, so... We will get more pets, no worries. We just lost Twinkie. No, so sad. And otherwise, I think actually not looking too bad. Defences is a bit of a problem, and power seems to be a bit of a problem, but not badly set up for episode one, I think. 
Food's not a problem. Meds should be... Do our meds finished? Not quite. Hopefully we get some heal roots some point soon, because with these meds run out pretty quick, as we know already. They are going to eat Twinkie by the looks of things. And so, there. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. First episode in a series that will be X long. Hopefully as long as the other ones, but maybe not. If you did, obviously, please hit like, please hit subscribe. It really does help me in the channel out. And if you didn't, hit me up down below. Let me know how I can improve, especially as, yeah, this Let's Play content's not something I've done a huge amount of recently, so it might be kind of new to some of you. Anyway, cheers, guys, and I'll catch you next time. And, of course, don't forget, I will do this on camera. I cannot notice there is no save button. I've only got save and quit or save and quit to OS. So, in this case, I'm going to save and quit to menu and catch you for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Thank <laughs> you.